yesterday, 6th of September 2023, the Presidential Election Petition Court, PEPC, finally delivered its long-awaited judgments on petitions challenging the outcome of the presidential election held on 25th of February 2023. This judgment was delivered within the statutory time frame under the Eastern status. We acknowledge the court's contributions to due process and seeming attempt to strengthen our democracy. As petitioners in this case, we respect the views and ruling of the court, but we disagree with the court's reasoning and conclusions in the judgment it delivered. Uh -huh. It is my intention as the presidential candidate and the intention of Labour Party to challenge this judgment by way of appeal immediately as allowed by the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The P EPC has rendered its judgment, but that esteemed body is not the final arbiter. The responsibility now falls on the Supreme Court. I do know that the judgment is not contaminous with justice. I employ Nigerians to remain focused, steadfast, and peaceful, and to abide by the rule of law and understand this matter has not reached its logical conclusion. Our legal team has already received a firm instruction to file an appeal against the decision. I shall not relent in quest for justice, not necessarily for myself, but for indeed for our teaming supporters all over Nigeria, whose mandate to us at the post was regrettable, trumpeted by INEC. The strength and value of our democracy reside on solid national institutions and our confidence in them. Electoral litigations will almost be unnecessary and non existent if the independent National Electoral Commission discharges its statutory functions creditably, transparently, and with tenable fairness. When that body fails, as it, is, as it did recently, those subverting the will of Nigerian voters, the recourse to judiciary becomes imperative, as is now the case. I thank every Nigerian who has supported our cause and campaign for a new Nigeria characterized by fairness, equity, justice, rule of law, peace, prosperity, inclusiveness, sustainable growth and development. A new Nigeria is possible and achievable. I especially thank our legal team, the Labour Party and the obedient family, and all those who showed up daily during our court trials. God bless you all and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you.